Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to install One UI 6 Beta 1 on your S23 Ultra if you are not in one of the beta program supported countries so without further ado let's jump in. Step number one in this process is to identify your phone's model number to download the correct update file and for you to achieve this you need to go to settings scroll all the way down and then tap on about phone and you will see the model name over here. Take a note of this number because we're gonna use it later. Step number two is to activate the developer options, which can be done by going to software information from the same page and then locate the build number. Keep tapping on the build number many times until you get the pin code screen. Put your pin code and you are good to go. Now when you go back to the first page under your settings, scroll all the way down. Now we have the developer options. Step number three is to activate something called USB debugging, which can be found under developer options we just activated. Scroll down a bit until you find it and you will see a toggle over here. Turn on the switch and confirm your selection. And now the phone is ready to apply the update. Before going any further, let me tell you that updating your phone using this method shouldn't impact your data by any means. Everything will remain exactly the same. But for the sake of safety, make sure you back up your phone one last time before proceeding with the steps, just in case anything went wrong. Now you need to make sure that you have a USB-C cable, the phone, and a PC to complete the process. Now let's prepare the PC for the update and the first step is to download the SDK platform tools. The download link will be in the description below which will take you to this page. Here you can download it for Windows, Mac or Linux. But in my case I use Windows so I'm gonna click this option. It will first show you the terms and conditions, scroll all the way down, tick the checkbox and hit download. Then it choose a location to download the file. For me, I will choose the downloads folder and if you didn't get this pop-up window to choose the location, most probably it will be saved to the downloads folder by default. Once the download is done, navigate to the folder you choose for the download and you will find the zip file called platform tools. Right click on it and choose extract all and in the pop-up window click extract. Windows automatically extracts the file in the same location which you can find over here. Let's keep this aside for now and download the update file to complete the steps. You will find another link in the description which will take you to this page from XDA developers website. Here you will find multiple download links, one for each model. Mine is the SM-S918B, so I'm gonna click the link. You might get a message saying that this page is unsafe if you are using Google Chrome, but your only option is to click continue to site to be able to download the file. I will save this file to the platform tools folder we downloaded and extracted earlier, or you can save it anywhere you want, but make sure to move it to this location later after the download is done. The update is 2.9 gigabytes, which gonna take some time depending on your internet speed. Now we downloaded all the files we need, let's navigate back to the platform tools folder and make sure that the update file is located here, which is the one with a very long name and .bin at the end. We need to rename this file and change the extension from .bin to .zip, so to make things easy, we will rename it to update.zip. Now it's time to plug the S23 Ultra to the PC. You might get this slow charging pop-up which we're gonna ignore and if it's your first time to connect the phone to the PC, you will get a confirmation pop-up to allow the USB debugging with the ability to always allow for the future and then hit allow. On the PC, click on the address bar at the top while having the platform tools folder open, clear everything and type CMD then hit enter. You will get this black window and to confirm that your phone is connected properly type ADB space devices and hit enter. If everything is okay you will see the device serial number which is the case here. To prepare the phone for the update type ADB reboot recovery as shown now on the screen and hit enter. Once you do this the phone will automatically restart taking you to this page and here you can only control the phone using the physical keys and the option we need to activate is called apply update from ADB which is the third option from the top and you can achieve this by using the volume down key and once you highlight the option press the power button once and you will get this text at the bottom of the screen now let's get back to the PC to complete the steps. The last command we're gonna type in this process is adb sideload then the update file name which we called it update.zip 
Then hit the enter key. If everything is okay, it will show you the progress percentage. Just wait until it reaches 100% and returns back to the normal state. Once the update is done, it will take you back to the recovery screen. And here we need to make sure that the reboot system now option is selected, which you can achieve by using the volume rockers as I mentioned before. And then you need to hit the power button. You might see here a red message saying that the installation failed, but this is happening because I interrupted the installation in the middle to continue with the video, but you can ignore this for now. And once you hit the reboot system, it will ask you for a confirmation and you are good to go. Your phone should be now on One UI 6 Beta 1. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my guide on how to install One UI 6 Beta 1 on your S23 Ultra. If you are not in one of the supported countries of the beta program. I hope it was helpful for you, but for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.